uh, Cecilia Tayo, everyone is talking about Nyek Van, Wade Van Nyek. You yeah. need to see the crowd at the Tambo Airport in South Africa waiting for that guy, Castor mm. Simania, and the entire South African team that went there. Cecilia, success is sweet. Okay, of course it is. let's you talk know. about our own, I know. Uh, who actually ran alongside the same boat and he finished second in his yeah. first race, got to the semi final. Diva and Dudu. We mm. need to also talk about our athletes. It I understand. Never I mean, sparing, yeah, you know, never sparing. But he, he, you, know, you know what it means mm. to like be with the fastest man, and just right beside you, and you're able to run alongside him and you know, give him a hug before his, you know, and that was his, his last Olympics. So next Olympics, Tokyo 2020, watch out for Divino Dudu. Yeah, he said so to Tayo. I'm very shady like my experience with Divino <laughs> Dudu. I just love his person. I enjoy his character. And then they didn't know I was coming to see them in their rooms. And it was, I think he was talking on Skype, and he was just back in the door. And then I opened, I gave a very faith knock, because I wanted to, you know, like, you know, just creep on him. And then he didn't hear, and then I walked into his room, and then he thought, ah, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Divine is such a character. Yeah, he's, and then he's very said, he said, no, he won't talk to me without wearing the, his Nigerian colors, because he's, 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 he's representing Nigeria in real life. So anything he's going to say to me is well see, you know, as a Nigerian, you know. And he was very, he's excited. First Olympics, and you're competing against Usain Bolt, made it to the semi finals, and still young. You know, one of, yeah. Yeah. And also in that. Fantastic, uh, you know. So yeah. I think there's still a lot we can expect from Divine Duduru. Mm. It's pretty fast. Yeah. It's pretty fast. And you mentioned, you know, something about having an injury before that race, you know. But we all know the level of preparations and all the sort of work. I was telling Cecilia yesterday, Tyler, at the 2014 Commonwealth Games, Andre de Grasse came last. Yeah, 2014. In 2016. Fast, fast forward. Two in years. 2016, two years after. Countries are working. They're working. People yeah. are not folding their hands. <laughs> in 2016, he's competing with Usain Bolt, 100 meters, 200 meters. Incredible, right? Wow. Yeah, that's, 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 that's the product. And you mean out on the village. Yeah, okay, the, now. The Dr. Landwork, Austria. Just quickly, um, before we go back to Divine, still on Nigeria, mm. but, um, we had Issa Brume here yesterday. That's right. Uh, she jumped uh, six points. Um, it's one. It's one, you know, got to the final of the long jump in Rio. Mm. She has a personal best of 6.83. And yesterday, during the uh, Lausanne Diamond League, we saw Ivana Spanovic jumping 6.83 to win the Ooh. long jump event. Wow. Yeah. I mean, so that tells you... So we're you, saying that right, she needs to be out there too. Exactly. She has to be out there, obviously, but then it shows you she has a great upside yeah. as well. Yeah. Because that's a Diamond League event, mm -hmm. you know, and she jumped that one right here in her career mm -hmm. this year. Wow. And, and Blessing actually jumped 6'11". Oh, what's going on with Blessing? Uh, I really don't know. Well, you know, sometimes that's, you, you've got a season. A season, I mean, right now she's not actually at the is best. It, is it, I was is thinking, it time, is it time fading away? Oh, no, it's yeah. not time fading away. I mean, we I saw mean, Alice Felix, how old is she? We, 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 we saw uh, Shelly and Fraser Price, how old is she? You know, that sometimes when, when, when she's 29, she, she's 29, and this, I mean, we, we're having girls no, who are 32 it, 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 and all that, so yes, I'm like, yeah, but it, it's it's not not the it may not just be a bad time. Yeah. It's yeah. not the same, yeah. well, it's a valid question, yeah. but yeah, we can't, well, obviously we can't It's answer. just bad timing for oh, her, yeah, I think that's... Yeah, she's been way below par. Yeah, she is fine, yeah. 100 and 200 failing to reach the finals, and the 4 by 100 meters really Nigeria struggled to finish last. I'm like, come on, what's happening? That's the first time you're in that you struggle to finish. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, <laughs> what you raise? No, I really want to raise this. <laughs> How do you say I'm going to finish last? Okay, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Now, the, 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 I mean, the, 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 the guy, the, I think, was it the ladies who were in the fifth? I was like, okay, Nigeria's going to finish yeah. sixth. Mm -hmm. that, uh, six. That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. But somehow, like, they, just, they just, like, some of them like, he was dropping back and dropping back. Great, no, okay, uh, final result. Yeah, so right. yeah, so yeah, like, to finish last. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Let's move on with the show. I caught up with Divine or Dudu. Such an interesting character. Listen to him. He's saying <laughs> what it was like meeting Usain Bolt. He actually adores Usain Bolt. He competed with Usain Bolt and finished second in that one. But in the semis, it didn't go that way. But he's saying, Nigerian fans, I'm sorry. I'll be back with a bang. Let's listen to Diva Odudu. We'll be right back. You no, know, when we got to Brazil, we were discussing about the competition with fellow athletes. So they were like saying that, uh, Divine, you're going to run with Usain Bolt. They said in Nigeria, you're going to be to St. Bode. They are in the same hit. I like, really? I said, well, I'm not scared of him. What made him St. Bode? And what made me divine is divine. So, really, the list came out and I was in the same race with him. I was like, really? 
So I was not really scared of him. I said, well, this, maybe this is how I want to get a better time and achieve something good. So when we had a call room together, I greeted him. He responded. We laughed, we talked, and we went to the call room. When I we were going, I was just smiling, getting to the call room, moved down to the track, and we on the track. They introduced him. When they were introducing him, I was just smiling. I said, wow. I said, this is the moment I've been waiting for. I just decided to do my best, and that was exactly what just happened there. The semi-final was... <clears throat> was something I really I really planned of getting to the final but after my uh, first race I had my I was feeling pain in my groin so the doctors they like they tried they did what they were able to do to make sure that I get way back to be able to run in the semi-final properly but when I got to the track <clears throat> I was warming up uh, I decided to sprint with uh, Mr. Campbell was me so at uh, that moment, I was not able to move the leg. He himself was even scared that I would I be able to run with the leg. So he just called, uh, took me to an Ameri one of the uh, American doctors, and the man just tapped the leg and he said, okay, I can manage it. And that was how I was able to use it to manage to run the race. Well, I believe the, my country was really expecting uh, something great for me, but sincerely speaking, uh, to great, the great people of Nigeria, I just did my best. and. I believe with better days to come, uh, I'm going to do more of my best. He what makes me divine is, is divine. divine. I love that. So it is. <laughs> Austin, yeah, first of all, as well, too, I mean, it wasn't exactly a deadly day as well, too, mm. when, it, when you saw uh, divine, because I think usually... So when when he's about to race, he's very passionate mm. and, and he wants to give it his all. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you're expecting uh, something out of this world. He tried his best, yeah. you know, got to to the same. His afterwards, he just didn't have enough uh, to give. Yeah. But like you said, uh, during the break, Austin, mm. he has a great upside. That's and right. He's one to really uh, watch out for. Hopefully, you know, he can keep progressing because yeah. that's the that's the that's the real um, issue right, right there. Now. Progression. I yeah. mean, you just talked about Andre de Grasse. I mean, looking him two I years. Know. You know, yeah, and he's, he two years now he's been touted as the so uh, apparent Usain Bolt. Not, not just that, got a Puma endorsement mm. that makes him this close with Usain Bolt because, of course, they're both uh, Puma both, athletes. Yeah. Trains and trains and trains. His country invested so much. In, I, was, I was speaking to Sheryl Gunler and I was trying to let me understand the amount of comp the number of competitions that the grass attended before the Olympics. It, you couldn't beat it. Preparation is not luck. You must just be ready. You and then when ready. there's luck, you just you take it. You take it. Yes, just what it is. That's how it is. So, say, what anybody says what they want to say. Gatlin didn't qualify for it to the 200 so meters. The grass is winning. It's winning. It's, yes. That is silver. It tells you a lot about preparation. You just no. need to be and ready. And I, I heard about the really 4 by 100 when the Americans, they usually miss half of yeah. batting and, and all that. Canada. And to Canada, they got so, the ball. So, so the guy in the three events got something. Something. Tyre Cecilia. It's, it's, just, it's just 21. Yeah, that's the grass for you. It's just it 21. happens like that. Now that just okay. I, see, I like what I've done to you. I don't know if you to do the same thing to the Minister of Sports and yeah, the AFM. Now, now you're talking because, because now I don't you just, know why you're looking because, at me. Yeah, because I just see you just uh, <laughs> it's just he's doing this and it's just twenty one. Yeah. And, okay, and we well, have yeah. and we have um, you know talent in Nigeria as well. So I just they're said, just there. Yeah, they're there as well. So all they need is the support. All they need is the right environment to actually you know make them top echelon athletes. Okay. I just talked about um, Essie Brumi. I mean, she's not a long way yeah. from jumping with the best in the world. Oh, I mean, yeah. the time she has, she, has, she has done it already. Yeah, I mean, okay. regularly I mean, on the all the down leagues and, yeah. and stuff like they that. They could so. talk about agents, and I think that's what we're yeah. looking forward to. Okay, oh. now. Nigeria, okay, some of the athletes are back. The mm. last set will be 27, the last badge will return and all that. Okay, yeah. now for Kenya, I mean, they're back wow. and they, they, they are really the whole of their main. Okay, now, the sports minister from Kenya talking about Hassan Wario has yeah. disbanded its National Olympics Committee because of the poor handling of the team in Rio. Now, what happened? There was alleged mismanagement of the facilitation of our athletes and the entire team can range from accommodation, travel mishaps, mishandling of the accreditation of the list of participants to the provision of kits that never reach the athletes. So, I mean, kits were provided when I got to them. Okay, for Nigeria it was provided, but it got to yeah, them after 
two to, days to the days end, to the, uh, three I'm days sure. to the end of the race. And mm. even you know, even in Nigeria, we even, they even had to wear the tracksuit that they were supposed mm. to wear when they are being given medals at the opening ceremony. Yeah. So maybe that's why we didn't win a medal anyway. But ah, the guys yeah, were because they were not at the opening ceremony. Yeah. Okay, now taking a look at Kenya, how many medals did they? I mean, I'm wondering. Yeah. I, I, I mean, thought they should have the, overlooked no, the whole yeah. issue after they won about. Thank you very much. When you do something, you're held right. accountable. That's mm -hmm. it. On the track, the on the field, title. they did very well. And Julio Diego won a silver yeah. medal. Mm. Uh, they won six gold, six silver, wow. one bronze. Wow. That's 13. Mm. So no issues with that at all. There you go. But all, all in tracks. Track. Yeah. Because they everything rises and falls on leadership. Exactly. They got it wrong off the tracks, off the field, and that's why uh, the National Olympic Committee okay. in Kenya, Spain, yeah. uh, for what they did. I mean, because uh, all these things, just, uh, all these allegations about, uh, you know, kids not getting to the athletes in time, mm -hmm. travel missiles, mm -hmm. it doesn't all go well for the image. We had the same image. thing. Yeah, but, it, yeah. And uh, we didn't win a medal. Yeah, what I'm saying is, we, we it doesn't all go well. They could team. easily have just overlooked uh, the fact that they did well yeah. at the games. But yeah. no, the fact mm -hmm. that it's uh, sold their image beats abroad is enough reason why some of these guys have to pay for Particularly it. Particularly with the accommodation when the games I mean, village was closed yes. and the Kenyan athletes were still in Rio and they had to tell them to go stay in a place that the government considers irresponsible and uncomfortable for the athletes. Yes. So you don't do that kind of thing. Run yes. down yeah. part of the city. That's the way the place was described. That's where they asked them to, to go somebody. stay. Some of the athletes who won medals. Those who have money can actually fly and just leave. But yeah. those who don't have. There you go. So what's the moral of the story? The moral, moral of, of the story. story. Someone must be held accountable. Yeah, I like what about here, said. though? <laughs> People must be responsible. No, I mean, we, 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 yeah. we, forget, we, 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 just wait. Let them finish. I okay, mean, we're waiting, wait. Yeah, right. we're waiting. Something yeah. must come up because I don't okay. understand why kids will not arrive and, and at least start. <laughs> Some of them had money and they had to buy their kids. And they, I mean, we listened yeah. to Aaron Okonjo who tickets. said, mm. I mean, luckily mm. for him, I mean, I mean the money the, he had. Well, yes. Yeah, Nigel yeah. 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 K also. Kosi you know, spoke chasing, to us, chasing his reforms <laughs> all, all over Rio. I mean, that's just uh, uh, embarrassing. It, and it should never happen. It now, yeah. Especially when we're talking about a big, massive country uh, like Nigeria.